Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a header on Microsoft Word um, under APA formatting. Um, a lot of my students in the past have had problems with this. Uh, and so first we're going to look at, I think, what is often the problem. Um, so first things first, uh, you can see I have my Microsoft Word open. This is Microsoft Office uh, 2007. Um, so yours might be a little different, but hopefully it, it is still helpful to watch this, no matter which version we have. Um, anyway, let's get started. First things first, we have to click on um, the top of the page here, we'll double click on it, and you can see that it opens up my header so that I can work on the header. And I think the problem that most students have is they think, okay, I can just type in my title, um, it has to be in all caps, and so they type uh, the actual title of their paper, right, the actual title, and then I think they just do a space, and your page number and just tab it over a couple of times and then that's it. Right? You can close my header and my footer. Look, I have my title here my, and I've got my page number here. That's great, right? So let's go down and see what happens then when we do a page break to make a second page. So you can see here's page one and down here is page two. And the problem, of course, here is that we've got page one still, right? Even though this is technically page two. Um, and so what we need to do instead is figure out how to go about this so that it's actually the way that it needs to be formatted. Um, so you can see I'm, I'm here in header, I've got it open. The first thing that we always have to do is click different first page. The first page in APA formatting when you're doing a paper, the first page always has to be different. Um, so you always click on that first, that's always the first thing. Second thing that we have to do is instead of just typing in our page number, what we want to do instead is click over here on page number. And you can see it gives us some different choices. And what we want is a page number on the top of the page. And we want it all the way on the right. So you can see this is on the left, this is in the middle, this is on the right. And so we pick plane number three, click on it. And you can see now we've got a page number one over here. And this is page one, so that's a great start. Uh, you'll also notice that the cursor is to the left of the page number, and that's great because what we need to do now is type in our actual title of our paper. Um, now, in APA formatting, on the first page, before you type in the title, you have to click uh, type in running head, uh, and then a semicolon, and then the actual title of the paper. And this paper we're going to call the actual title. Isn't that clever? Uh, and now all we have to do is tab over once, and tab over twice, and now I've got my running head with my title and the page number. Now we can click out of here, we can close header and footer, and you can see we've got this on the first page, and on the second page there's nothing. Uh, and that's because uh, we have to do it again for the second page because we clicked a different first page. Um, so, this time on page two, we start the same way more or less by going to page number and we want the same thing, so top of page and then plane number three and you can see, oh, this is page number two and there is a number two, that's a good sign for us. Uh, what we have to do now is again type in the title, well, this time we don't type in running head, we just type the actual title in all caps. So the actual title and once again we tab it once, we tab it twice and we can click out of our header and footer and you can see that we have page one and we have page two and they are different and that is great and now the real test is let's put in a page three so we go to insert and page break and you can see successfully Yes, we have a page three, and we no longer need to worry about our header and our page numbers because now they're automatically being added for every subsequent page that we do. And so um, this is fantastic. We don't have to worry about formatting anymore. We can just actually work on writing the paper, which is the more difficult part, or at least hopefully is. Um, so I hope that you found this useful. Um, thank you very much for watching and listening. And I'll see you next time.